Yeah. Eduardo, it's, um, so Juliet was tying early childhood development to education and even, you know, early education to middle years and beyond. What, what is, in your view, Latin, Latin America and specifically, but even beyond, what's the state of early childhood development and education right now? What do you see that's working and important for us to embrace? And, and even tying it to where it takes us in terms of workforce development and so forth. It'll come. It'll come. Try again. Hello? There you go. Okay, good. Uh, one thing, Brian, that uh, the states in Brazil and Latin America, what we, we realize, we did a survey in Brazil, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is in Latin America, Africa, and many of your countries, people in general, uh, they don't have the knowledge uh, that was just mentioned about the importance of early childhood development. Uh, people know intuitively that they have to take care of children but they don't know the impact if they don't, they, they don't have an attachment, they don't read with and for the children. Uh, this is a huge impact that uh, has, that we don't take care of these children, especially the vulnerable ones. Uh, we're talking about migration in the last panel. Uh, we're talking now about many children, many young people uh, not working and not in school. Uh, and this uh, brings to the science is show that if the base is not a concrete base, these children are going to leave school. They're not going to have good jobs. Uh, and this is pretty much happening in Brazil, Latin America in general, Africa, and many of the countries uh, around the world. Uh, we have been able to do some good work in Latin America. Uh, at the foundation that I was working, also United Way in Brazil, that I also help as a, a vo volunteer board member, uh, trying to build uh, the sensitize, build the capacity, and mobilize uh, public, private, uh, and social leaders uh, in a way that Congress in Brazil, for example, uh, passed a law in 2016, and the president signed a law for early childhood development. And we are not talking about just early education, between bra brackets early education, just early education. We are talking also about the development that happens in the family, in the community, that this is really important. Because normally when we think about uh, children, and uh, when uh, people ask me, what do you do for a job? I said, I work with uh, early childhood development. Oh, we work with uh, uh, early education. Uh, child care. I said, no, it's much more than this. It's the, the system, educational system, but also trying to help and build policies for families in their homes, in their community, like a home visiting program, a center-based program that is intersectoral, because health, education, and social development, they must work together to help the families, especially the vulnerable families. How do you convince a business leader or a national politician holding a baby on your lap and reading to the baby and, and, and affectionately touching this young child matters to that politician or that CEO. Why should they care? Yeah, in a forum like this, we can mention the study of Heckman. There's a Nobel Prize in economics from the University of Chicago. Uh, he has been studying uh, uh, early childhood developments and he's, sh he's showing that if you invest until three, four years old in a good quality early childhood program. It's going to be less use of drugs, less uh, uh, school dropouts, salaries at 40 years old, 36% higher. Uh, you talk with numbers. It's funny, when uh, we started this panel, uh, a lot of people left yeah. uh, because we are, we're going to talk about people now, not numbers. Yeah. We can talk about numbers also. Yeah. The results that not investing, the country and the society is going to pay with migration, uh, with dropouts, use of drugs, and many other things. So, uh, Chinarandan, I'm going to come to you in a second, but to, to this point, I, um, so we all in our countries spend a lot of money to build sports stadiums, right? <laughs> Depending on whatever our sport of choice is, 
we spend literally billions and billions of dollars to build these things. I was in a, I was in a ballroom once in Minneapolis in the U.S. with a thousand business leaders, and they were about to spend one billion U.S. dollars to build a new football stadium, American football stadium, and a new baseball stadium. And the speaker that was with us was the chief um, economist at the Federal Reserve. And he got up and he said to this group of 1,000 business leaders, if you instead would take that $1 billion and put it in a foundation that would ensure quality early childhood development for every new child born in the state of Minnesota, your economic return will be much, much greater than those stadiums you're going to build. I asked the question because they built the stadiums um, and they didn't set up the endowment. But your argument around financial return as well as human return is compelling.